Hi, this is Leah from Mommy Edge. Before we get started, I just want to make sure that you know it is very important to have your brushes, styles, and actions all loaded before you try to run that action. Otherwise, it will not work properly. Basically, the actions are calling on certain styles and brushes to finish the effect. So, just my little disclaimer before the, the show. Enjoy the tutorial. Hi, this is Leah from Mommy Action. Today I'm going to give you a tutorial on how to use the stitching actions. These actions are for text and for vector shapes. I do not have an action yet for um, rasterized layers yet. Uh, I will work on that in the future though, I promise. So first thing we're going to do is text. I'm going to start just by choosing a font or whatever I want to have stitched. We're going to go with some Century Gothic action because I love Century Gothic for the win. All right, this area that I'm working in is six by six just for reference. So here we go, the letter A. Not for, well, anyway, not gonna go there. <laughs> All right, so here I'm just gonna hit play. When I hit play, it's gonna ask me to make sure that my foreground color is the color I'd like my stitching to be. So if I wanted, you can choose any color you want. So for sake of this, I think I'm gonna choose like a tealy color. For fun. All right, now I'm going to hit play again. Now it's going to ask me to make the foreground color what I would like the edging to be. So I'm going to stop. I'm going to choose the same color and I'm going to hit play. It says now simply select the element layer and apply whatever style or paper you would like to it. Merge them together and then it's done. So um, I'm just going to use kind of a poofier style. This is from my um, fabric styles that I made quite a while ago, but I still really like how they work. And so that's how that would work. Just like that. So that's if we were going to make an alpha or, or something. Also, um, I don't in the action, I don't merge everything automatically together for you. That way, if you just want the stitching and not the background, you can just turn that off and there's your stitching. So, all right, I'm going to delete those and now we're going to do a shape. For our shape, I'm going to use one of Just Jamie's shapes because I love her shapes. And I'm going to choose pink because it's my favorite color. All right, now I'm just going to make a shape. Probably not too ginormous. I mean, this is like six inches, right? So there we go. I'm going to move that here, and then all I'm going to do is I have the vector shape stitching, and I'm going to hit play. Again, it asks, I want the foreground color to be what you want your stitching to be, so I'm going to stop. I'm going to choose, like, a light gray. And I'll tell you why I choose light gray, is because whenever you're doing uh, any kind of style onto, you know, a layer, if you have pure white or pure black, generally the... Um, the dimensions and whatnot of the style aren't going to look as great as if you made it just maybe a dark dark gray or a um, or a light light gray for white so I always that's one of my tips do that um, again make sure you have the edging color selected so I'm gonna stop I'm gonna choose the pink I'm gonna hit OK I'm gonna hit play and then it says again just to apply whatever um, style I want to the background which will be fun what style should I pick? I have so many. As you all know, I'm always making styles. I just, I love them so much, I can't help it. This is a felt style applied on this, which I have to say, I really like how the felt style looks with the, um, with the stitching. Nice, right? Okay, now if you're a scrapper and you're wanting to use this to stitch around paper or something like that, what you're going to do is you're just going to create the shape that you wanted to have stitched. So um, then you're going to go to the vector shape stitching and you're going to hit play. I'm going to do like a whitish. So again, I'll choose a light gray. Hit play. I'm just going to continue. I don't care what the outside color is. Do not care. <laughs> uh, I'm just going to go like that, and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create another shape again underneath it, like this. Then I'm going to take a paper, 
copy it, paste it, and uh, clip it. And there I have some stitched paper. So uh, that's how this works. I really hope that you guys enjoy this set of actions as much as I enjoyed finally putting them together. I know I'm going to get a lot of use out of it, and I hope you'll get a lot of use out of it too. So have a great day. Bye-bye. <laughs>